It's time for the Texas Bucket List Burger of the Week. This week we're in North Texas, in Jacksboro, at a burger joint with over 100 years of history, Hertz. Since 1980, Hertz Burgers has been slinging out a time-honored tradition out of this house on the north side of town. When you come here, everybody says this is the place you need to go. There aren't a whole lot of places in Jacksboro that I'm aware of, but in the two times that I've been here, this is where I've come to eat. You know, you just don't have this experience at most places. But what makes Hertz such a sought-after hamburger joint is its history. Prior to 1980, a story that goes all the way back to the teens of last century. Well, this is who started it all right here. It's my great aunt, Aunt Ella Gafford. Uh, the picture is from the 1920, but she actually started the business in 1916. Danny Hurd took over the family business in 2008 after retiring from his day job. It was like 92 years old when I took it over. I mean, how many businesses do you know of that's even 92 years old? I mean, individual, you know, that's in the same family. I'm just blessed to be able to take it over and just to keep it running. For Danny, the secret to success was simple not to change a thing. It's old school and it's different and it's nothing fancy. Yeah, and I've tried to keep it that way. Danny's grandparents took over the restaurant in 1946 and Danny's parents started their tenure in the 70s. People remember my parents working down here and you know, for like 30 something years, they ran it together. The time they retired, that was a lot of people, that was their you know, entire life. While the location has changed, nothing else has. Danny still makes the burger on the same cast iron grill as his father and his father before him. You know, as I got ready to retire, uh, I came back and would uh, stand next to him cooking and stuff like that. So he gave me a lot of, a lot of his uh, little tips and stuff. I can remember that grill being at the other location. Uh, and he hasn't changed anything that I'm that I'm aware of. The same grill, the same everything since I, since I, I remember the very first time I stepped in. The magnitude of carrying on this family tradition that means so much to the town of Jacksboro is an honor that Danny doesn't take lightly. It's a lot of history, a lot. Of, it's a lot of family, a lot of memories. I'm just blessed and fortunate to be able to take it over, you know, and just keep it going, you know, however I can. When food and family can bring a grown man to tears, that's something we want to support. So we headed about four feet to unleash the double-double. I mean, there's no frills. It's just basic, and I think that's that's one of the reasons it's been around for so long. I mean, there's no gimmicks, nothing to get you in here. You know, it's just a good burger. So good, some people eat two at a time. I only get a chance to come in here about once every two or three weeks, so... I just come in and get, get my fill. <laughs> Danny starts by taking a chip off the old block of beef. You know, the meat, it'll kind of cook away, and you want to make sure everybody gets their money's worth. Two quarter pound patties are cooked while the bun rests on top. I don't want to be the one in the family to mess up the 100 year old chicken. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit of pressure. Huh? That's right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Once the beef is cooked, the burger is topped with salt, mustard, cheese, onions, pickles, and lettuce. All right, there's your double double. 102 years in the making. I appreciate it. It's fun being in the kitchen. Thank you. <laughs> you bet. Well, we're going to come out of this kitchen and just kind of come right here because it's so tight in here. And we'll take a look at this burger, the Double Double, a beautiful burger. Simply put together, nothing fancy, just a regular burger cooked on a very old grill. So we'll peel away this wrapping and see what over 100 years of hamburger history tastes like. There's no denying a burger with this much Lone Star State lineage. This is excellent. Excellent, Dan. You like it? It's good. Yeah, good. <laughs> I thought you would. It's a one-of-a-kind experience. They'll never experience it anywhere else. Well, we definitely hit the jackpot in Jacksboro. No, it's just a testament. This place has been here, I believe, a little over 100 years. What restaurant has that? Seriously, what restaurant has that? I can see why people eat two of these, Danny. Yeah. <laughs> well, do you need another one? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> no. It's delicious. It's supposed to be one of the best hamburgers you get in Texas. Not an incredibly greasy cheeseburger, just enough grease to make it excellent. And the history in here is amazing. Whenever you go across Texas eating hamburgers like this, and you can taste the difference just because of the griddle it's cooked on, that's why you come. Everyone in the town kind of rallies around this place. Every time I come through, people are always saying, oh, yeah, you need to get you a Hertz burger. We love these burgers. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't tasted one like it. 
I may be a little prejudiced. But. Whenever in Jacksboro, just follow the herd to Hertz Burgers for a burger that's well worth a stop on the Texas bucket list. Where else are you going to get a Hertz Burger? That means that it's family. Staple of Jacksboro. They're just delicious. <laughs> they want the best burger in Texas. You got to come here.